Hey, what's up everyone? It's Joe. Um, I want to talk about the inks that are being used in, in the hair tattoo scalp micropigmentation industry. There's a, a lot of confusion, even with it, people that have been doing this, you know, the veterans that do this for a living, they don't know how simple the ink that's being used really is. Um, this is this is a video for both providers, you know, people that want to train, um, and especially clients as well. Um, again, a lot of confusion on the ink. What I'm holding right here is a $25 bottle of ink, um, eight ounces, this, this would last a provider, I could do maybe 100 heads with this bottle for $25, okay? That's how cheap the ink is, okay? And, and of course, there's a, there's a big, you know, marketing tactic, a big scare, you know, make sure you're using the right ink because, you know, colors can come through, um, which is very true, don't get me wrong, it's very true, it's a very real concern. Um, fortunately, tattooing has been around for a long time, and a lot of the, the, the bigger tattoo supply companies They've already figured that one out, you know, not having ink that turns green and blue, um, especially when we're working on the scalp where it's uh, at a superficial depth. So what I want to show you, um, just a couple different options of inks that you can you can either buy if you're a provider, an artist, or you know ask your provider if you're a potential client uh, what they're using. Um, you know, and, and to be honest, most people they'll they'll buy ink like this. This is nocturnal gray wash. Okay, this is the dark. See at the bottom. This is the dark. Um, shade in a line of, of three shades, so it's light, medium, and dark. Um, so what I want to show you is how to make those using just a straight black, just to give you more options. So here we go. Um, again, twenty-five dollars for this, and that doesn't make, make doesn't mean it's inferior in any way. It's actually some of the most. This is what I use and I've been using for the past couple of years now, and um, it's as good as any ink out on the market. Um, and that's the whole point of this video is. There's not one particular manufacturer that's making the best ink in the world. Um, it's actually pretty simple stuff. So here we go. I'm gonna pour half of the cup up on this one. Maybe give or take a quarter on this one. And then just a little bit less on this guy here. Okay? I know it wasn't the most perfect pour, but for intents and purposes, right? I now fill this one up. That's my dark shade. Fill this one up, it has less ink in it. It's gonna be my medium shade. And this has even less black ink and fill it up all the way. That's gonna be my light shade. So when you're looking at either a pure black or a, a gray wash series by Nocturnal or Silverback, um, Silverback I used in my beginning years um, almost a decade ago and I've, I have some clients that I still keep in touch with that have you know, a great healed result. So um, again, to reiterate, that would be the dark and then of course we'd have a medium bottle and a small. Um, I hope that makes sense. Comment below. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I hope this clears a lot of confusion for people. Um, I know I've personally told maybe half a dozen or more um, providers, artists that have gone on to you know take this bottle, put it in their own ink uh, ink bottle, right? Put their own label on it, and nothing wrong with that. But um, again, twenty five dollars for this big bottle, and people are selling one ounce bottles for sixty hundred bucks. It's just to me, it's insanity. Um, so I hope this is appreciated. And again, um, enjoy.